Dinosaurs might get most of the glory in museums and on screen. However, when dinosaurs roamed the Earth, it was still a bit of a blip compared to the entire time of the planet has been around. There are more gigantic, toothy, and winged creatures that existed way back when that are straight up terrifying. Here are the top 20 prehistoric animals you're glad are extinct. Antilodin. This look-alike dinosaur but giant wildlife species was a familiar typical entelodont. With a large, bulky body, slender legs, and long snout, Entelodon had complete eutherian detention. It had only two toes on each foot and its legs were built for fast running. Its long, wide head was supported by a robust, short neck and its cheekbones were greatly enlarged and protruded noticeably from the sides of the head. Though it was more closely related to hippos and whales than pigs, its skull was generally pig-like. Quetzalcoatlus A study by Sankar Katerji, a Texas Tech University professor, claims that Quetzalcoatlus would not have been able to fly. Instead, the protosaur would soar and glide in a similar fashion as the albatross. Recent studies have estimated Quetzalcoatlus to weigh around 200 to 250 kilograms. They are huge the size of a giraffe or a small plane that has a beak that is a massive 2.5 meters long. So it's large enough to eat humans, at least children, teens, and small adults. Lyoplorodon. Despite needing to breathe air, Lyoplorodon spent its entire life at sea and was unable to leave the water. Consequently, it would have given birth to its young alive and may have visited shallower water to breed. Until recently, the longest confirmed adult specimen was 18 meters. Some paleontologists believe that it was rather swift in the water and could possibly swim as fast as a shark, which is about 25 miles per hour, which is about five times faster than the fastest human swimming speed of five miles per hour. For us, Rahasid. This terror bird ranged in height from one to three meters. Most forest acids were very fast runners. All members possessed a large, sharp beak, a powerful neck, and sharp talons. However, even with these attributes, the forest rahasids are often assumed to have preyed on relatively small animals that could be dispatched with a minimum of struggle. This is due to the fact that the forest rahasids' beak proportions, the jaw, could not generate a great deal of bite force which would kill the prey. American Lions Along with short-faced bears, these lions were the biggest predators that were preserved in the La Brea tar pits. They went extinct about 13,000 years ago, around the same time as the mammoths and other large animals they would have preyed upon. Researchers imagine that the American lions, short-faced bears, and saber-toothed cats that ended up stuck in the asphalt at La Brea were attracted there by struggling prey animals and that predators got stuck. More predators took an interest and ventured out into the sticky marsh. Josepho Artigazia Manizi. How do you feel about rodents? Get a little creeped out by mice and rats? If so, the Josepha Artigazia Manizi might be the reason you're glad you live now instead of three million years ago. At about 2,200 pounds, the South American animal was the biggest rodent we've ever found remains of. It had giant front teeth that researchers think it probably used like elephants use their tusks to root around in the dirt for food and maybe to fight off predators. Andrew Sarchis This prehistoric animal was a large mammal that lived in the Paleogene period. It was an early entiodactyl hoofed animal related to hippos and whales. One interesting fact is that Andrew Sarchis was discovered in Mongolia by naturalist Roy Chapman Andrews, after whom the genus was subsequently named. Andrew Sarchis was a large snouted predator and, based on skull measurements, may have been the largest ever carnivorous mammal that lived on the Earth. Basicillosaurus Although its name, which includes the word saurus, suggests that Basilosaurus was a reptile, it was later found to be a mammal. In fact, Basilosaurus was an early whale that lived in the Eocene epoch of the Palagenian period. Basilosaurus was around 21 meters long and had a 1.5 meter skull. Its jaws were full of long, dagger-like teeth. Analysis of its skull suggests that it may have been the strongest bite force of any animal. Basilosaurus is considered to 
have been common in the Teth's Sea. It was one of the largest animals of the Paleogene. It was the top predator of its environment preying on sharks, large fish, and other marine animals, namely the dolphin-like Duradon, which seems to have been their predominant food source. Castoroids It was a 2.5-meter-long giant beaver that lived in North America during the Pleistocene Epoch. It is the largest beaver ever to have lived, but it had a small brain in proportion to its body size and may not have been as smart as its modern-day counterpart. Castoroids will not likely attack any entity unless aggravated to do so. Often, giant beavers who reside close to swamps will be forced to defend their territory and fight against wandering Dilophosaurs and invading Titanoboas. Sometimes they can even be grouping up against larger predators like Carnos and swarms of smaller predators like raptors and terror birds. Dire Wolf Another big predator that's commonly found in the La Brea tar pits, this wolf series was about the same length as the modern gray wolf, but it weighed quite a bit more, as much as 175 pounds. Dire wolves have stronger jaws than today's gray wolves, which meant that they were good at crushing bone. Nonetheless, they went extinct about 10,000 years ago while their smaller cousins are still around. Gray wolf populations have found a comeback in recent years thanks to reintroduction programs in places like Yellowstone National Park. You'll be amazed to know the most amazing top 10 prehistoric kingdom list, and here we go. Obapinia some creatures seem pretty creepy, even though they're not enormous like this 3-inch arthropod. Opabinia was a flat-bodied swimmer with five eyes and 30 swimming fins and a long tube sticking off the front of his face, with what looks like a Venus flytrap on the end. It probably stuck that long tube down into the sandy seabed to catch worms. Glyptodon it was a giant armadillo of the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs, with a shell that was around 1.5 meters in length and a total body length of around 3.3 meters. It would have been an impressive sight walking through the South American forests and grasslands in which it lived. Hyanodon is a genus of large carnivorous mammals that lived from the Eocene and the mid Miocene epochs. The largest hyadons were among the largest predators of their time. Ichthyosaurus. This extinct genus was thought to have become the most terrifying extinct creatures early in the late Cretaceous, during the Cenomanian about 95 million years ago. The Ichthyosaurus thus would have disappeared much earlier than other larger Mesozoic reptile groups that generally survived until the end of Cretaceous. Mary Anning has been credited with the first discovery of Ichthyosaur fossils, although this is not entirely true. She did help to discover the first specimen of Ichthyosaurus to be known by the scientific community of London. Epic Yon. Before dire and grave wolves roamed North America, an even bigger member of the canine family, in fact, was here. Epicyon lived between 12 and 6 million years ago and was the size of a grizzly bear, weighing as much as 300 pounds according to the Florida Museum. That's like two Newfoundland dogs or three Great Danes, that's one amazing fact. Definitely this name should be included in the prehistoric park if there were any. Moss Chops they were heavily built plant eaters, and they may have lived partly in water as hippopotamuses do. They have short, thick heads that might have competed by headbutting each other. With a versatile palate and tough teeth, Moschops can be tamed for a unique ability. Over time, it can be accurately taught exactly which things to gnaw, increasing the likelihood of harvesting the specific resource its master desires. Even after taming, it will quickly flee when enemies are nearby. Chronosaurus. Body length estimates, largely based on the 1959 Harvard reconstruction, had previously put the total length of Chronosaurus at 12.8 meters. However, more than recent studies comparing fossil specimens of Chronosaurus to other pliosaurs suggests that the Harvard reconstruction may have included too many vertebrae, exaggerating the previous estimate, with the true length probably only 9 to 10.9 meters. Their teeth exceed 7 centimeters in length, 12 centimeters crowns. However, they lack carinae and the distinct trihedral of Pliosaurus and Lyopleurodon teeth. Megatherium 
It was a giant ground sloth that lived in South America from the Pliocene to the end of the Pleistocene. Thought to have weighed up to four tons and being six in length, it was one of the biggest animals of its day. Megatherium had large claws, which may have been used for burrowing rather than for climbing. This huge, hornless rhino lived during Oligocene Epoch. Weighing up to 20 tons and standing up to 4.8 meters tall, it may have been the largest land mammal ever to have lived. Smilodon Together, they have been known as cyber-toothed cats. The best known is the Smilodon, which is also known as the cyber-toothed tiger. Three species of Smilodon have been discovered. The biggest Smilodon populator was bigger than a tiger and may have been the biggest cat species ever. Smilodons lived during the Pleistocene epoch and were found in both North and South America. What a relief that they don't exist anymore. Scary animal indeed. Gorgonospid. But first, do us a favor, click on that like button to inspire us, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any interesting videos. All right, here we go. Gorgonitspid is the most dangerous extinct animal clade of non-mammalian synapsids from the Permian period. Gorgonopsians were quadrupedal predators with prominent canine teeth and the largest species were the apex predators of their ecosystems. Like other non-mammalian synapsids, Gorgonopsians were once described as mammal-like reptiles due to their mix of mammalian and reptilian traits. This look-alike dinosaur but monster animal are really scary that anyone should be glad of its extinction. Woolly Mammoth no list of prehistoric animals would be complete without the woolly mammoth. Mammoths were prehistoric members of the elephant family. They lived during the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs. The woolly mammoth is a species of mammoth that lived towards the end of this period. A similar size to African elephant, the woolly mammoth was covered in fur, an adaption for living during the Ice Age. So, are you happy with their extinction? What would happen if they were still alive today? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss a thing. Until next time, take good care of yourself.